Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Public Nuisance Podcast. I'm here with the baby goats tonight. They're going to kill it. Let's kill it. So uh, we got uh, Chance, uh, Greg, and Lance. Guys, introduce yourselves. Hi. We're the baby goats. Where's camera one? That one right there? Okay, cool. Hi, we're the baby goats. <laughs> That's Greg. That's Lance. And I'm Chance. And we're well aware of the fact that two of our names rhyme. <laughs> Yeah, so I remember the uh, first time I heard about you guys, I went to see the Ron side over at the sewer. Mm-hmm. It was right after the, the Kyle Smith show. and then mm. uh, I th- That I, benefit, right? Yeah, the yeah, benefit yeah, yeah. show, yeah. And mm-hmm. then uh, I had left after the Ron side played, and then my manager, she stayed, and she came back. She had all these videos of you guys saying, oh, we've got to get them. We've got to get them. <laughs> they rock. Awesome. And, That's Rose, right? Yeah, Rose, oh, yeah. Awesome. Yep, so, uh, nice. but uh, yeah, glad to have you guys here, man. Thank glad you, you very much here. for having us. We're honored. We yeah, appreciate it. so... Uh, people that don't know you guys, are gonna, you know, because this podcast will go out in about four days, but it's going to be filmed live tonight. It's just being streamed live, so they can go back and watch it. It'll okay. be up there. And uh, so, tell them a little bit about like how, how the baby goes come together. How do you guys meet? Like, what's what's you your know, story? The funny truth: we met uh, at our our children's elementary school. <laughs> cool. Yeah, cool. yeah. So um, Greg and I uh, were playing in a parents band for um, the uh, annual nice. fundraiser. Yeah, it's called Chime. The school was called, or is called Chime, and so they had a thing called Chime of Palooza. Oh, cool! And we just kind of hit it off, and um, um, he and I actually played um, together before meeting Lance. Um, and we, Lance and I met. You were behind me at our child's. Uh, they both, re- both of our kids received a oh, that award, an achievement award, award. award. <laughs> yeah, of some kind. They were like in what fourth grade, I think, or something like that. Yeah, yeah. and so that's how we met. How long ago was that? Long enough. 20, 2019, maybe? Something yeah, like yeah. That. Somewhere around. Yeah. We've probably oh, cool. been playing five years now, right? Something. Close. Yeah. Close. Not quite that long, cool. but close, yeah. yeah. But we, we crossed paths back uh, back in the day in other bands, mm. all the way back to like yeah. the 90s. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So, so you guys, you know, I know you do a lot of covers and stuff like that. Do you have your own mm. music, too, as well? Oh, without question. We're an original act. We do a little bit of covers just to sprinkle in, and but even then we do our own version of it. You Very know? cool. Like it doesn't necessarily. Well, there's one that there's a few that we are like, bad I just play it the way it is. But for the most part, we try to fuck with it a little bit. Yeah, yeah. that's cool. Yeah. That's cool. So, um, you know, where so people are gonna see this, you know, and, and check it out. Where can they go and, and find your music? You know, where where can they go and, and check you guys out and see videos or listen to the music? Yeah, the main way you can kind of really get a sense of us, apart from the website. I mean, who who, who goes to websites anymore? Is Instagram. I mean, that's just kind of the default setting for most bands, you know. Right, right. But then there's also um, Spotify, which at we're, the Baby Goats Music. Yeah, thank you, <laughs> Spotify, which we're really thrilled about. Our record just came out um, in February, um, so we're starting to get a little bit of traction there, which is wonderful. Very you know? cool. What's the name yeah. of the, the the record? The record's called Electricity, and we're doing what's called a waterfall release, which is sort of like instead of releasing it all at once. And instead of releasing it like a single, a bunch of singles, it's kind of the same thing, but it's, it's almost an amalgamation of the two ideas, right? So the very first song comes out in February, and then the second song comes out in March, which is in a couple of days, but we also re-release the first song. Okay. So and then each, the third month... Yeah, you'll get like... So you'll the get next three. One, four songs, and then the five songs, Fourth songs, one, and then the fifth songs. one, until so the entire record's released. So we probably won't actually complete the release of this record until October. Oh, right on. You know, yeah. but then it gives us an opportunity to, I mean, listen, what what happens with us when we listen to music, when we watch television, everything's out of mind, out of sight, because we're just on to consuming the next thing. But if you think of it this way, it's like, okay, let's release it over time. You feel like you're almost, it's almost episodic. It's like a Netflix. Right, thing right. Where, where we release it. Right. Over the course of releasing it all at once, it's, you know, it's everyone gets excited, listens to it for a week. And then it's gone. You know, it's in, it's out in the Ethernet, and it's yeah, yeah. That's it. Yeah. yeah, it keeps people you know contained to your to your music. Yeah, because otherwise, if we were to release it two weeks ago, then that's it. It's gone. That's it. Yeah. I mean, you can sit here and tell me it's a great record or not. It's it's a subjective opinion, but we can't duplicate. I mean, unless we're a big band like the Foo Fighters or Beyonce or Taylor or whatever, how are you going to be able to convince you to continue to listen to it if you? just heard it for the first time and you're like on to the next thing yeah exactly. you know it's tough to make that connection so yeah. we yeah. hope that this idea of the waterfall release we release it over time and it becomes an exponential growth you know so i mean this is sort of dorky because it's all stats based but 
when we, before we released our first song, we had like 40 monthly listeners on Spotify. I mean, it was pretty miserable. Right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Something like that. But in 10 days, it, it jumped up to two grand. So, good for you. You know, and yeah. yeah. And listen, we're still so much of a baby band, but right. my God, we have to celebrate that victory, right? Right. So now we got another song coming out in March, March 15th. And hopefully there's going to be some kind of exponential growth where even if this one were to start to dip, next song hits and then it goes up again. Right. At least that's the hope. You know? yeah, well, I mean, as long as everyone understands that the music's good. Yeah. Like well, it just it. feels like more momentum, you know, as opposed to just dropping it out and, and that's it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so, it's just... <laughs> so you understand yeah. you can make your combo seem like a... Yeah. <laughs> Is it hard to hear him or are you okay? Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> but, yeah, it's sort, of, sort of like, you know, like the music scene here, you know, because I started doing the music during COVID, you know, because I yeah. stayed open and fought the government and that was a whole public nuisance thing came. And oh. so I started playing live music during COVID just to <laughs> piss off the government officials, really, you know what I mean? Just, uh, and, you know, and I, I was just doing it for the people. So, you know, the people that didn't, you know, would be packed out here and the... You know, people with their kids out there, no masks, and just dancing mm. and singing and mm -hmm. loving music, and mm -hmm. that's kind of where it started. And you know, we had this little tiny stage, and then, you know, then we got up and had some of the bigger acts start to come through here, and mm. it started to become this little whole little. You know, How long you guys? Because this place has been around forever, but you're kind of new to it. Right? Yeah, yeah. Or well, no, it was. It, this is Miss Olson over fifty years. Yeah, all yeah right. And uh, my dad, you know, I, I was living back east for thirty years. He got Alzheimer's. Mm. I just, you know, just took over the restaurant to afford my parents, and then COVID hit, and. I took on the government, and now here we are. So, wow, <laughs> it's kind of like, that's great. Yeah, it's a long story, but uh, glad you survived. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Still trying, man. They still come after me. So it, wow. it never ends. But dude, you're just saying, what happens just, when you stand up for yourself? You're just, you know what uh, I mean? You're a charismatic person. They just they're just interested in knowing a little more about you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a lot more about me, but it's all good, man. Uh, so look, uh, you know, I like asking the artists this because you know people get to see it, they get to to, to understand you a little bit more, and you know, kind of relate in in a, in a weird way, but. You know, I'd like to ask each one of you, you know, like, what was your musical influence? What, what made you want to pick up that guitar, you know, play the keyboards, you know, bang on the drums? You know, what, what got you into music? What made you want to want to be Start into Start with a guitar player. Fucking Ozzy, man. Randy Rhodes. Yeah. Yeah. Solid. I had no idea it was the singer for Black Sabbath, too, because I was really young. But yeah, yeah, it just, you know, snowballed from there and then uh, just really started expanding and getting into more every kind of music but that's where it started it was like i heard that first the blizzard of oz and it was just hmm? like Poof. you're in <laughs> hey ozzy what's after h i i yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a b4 yeah exactly <laughs> that's funny i had i had a similar like i was really into kiss you know and that, that was, was that my was, first wing too was kiss yeah. but and like jumping up and down on my bed but yeah. i think ozzy <laughs> was the first time i picked up the tennis racket and uh you know air jammed with the tennis racket as Randy Rhodes. Awesome. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. I'm a keyboard player, so I have, I have a little more of a dorky background. E ELO was probably a big one for me. Right. Um, but I love Cheap Trick. And the funny thing is, is when I was a kid, um, the way it started was my mom goes, hey, um, do you want us to buy you a piano? And I'm like, yeah, sure, mom. Awesome. Week later, movers come in with this little stand-up ball and acrosonic. I'm like, okay, that's awesome, man. All right, I'm going to go play outside. And she's like, oh, no. You're going to practice every single day. You're going to go take lessons. I'm seven, right? right? And, and it was, first of all, she taught me the concept of discipline. My God, yeah. a woman, I love her. Um, but also, when I would play the piano, as soon as I figured it out, when I could take my record player, put it on top of the piano, and put a record that I bought, and I could play the notes from the record, I went, oh, my God. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, you got I it. I just yeah. went, that's everything, you yeah. know? And so I would do these little... Uh, concerts for my parents and my sister would be pretending to play the drums or whatever but I would be pretending to play the keyboards I didn't even know how to play the parts yet but the whole time I was doing it I wanted to be the singer right. so this band is a, an amalgamation of those two things where I'm able to still sing um, and my mom bless her heart would go don't 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 sing because <laughs> my voice was terrible at the time but I, I just still Ignored it. all that and yeah. became delusional. Said, "Okay, I'm gonna be singing." Yeah. Well, you kids out there, go check out ELO. Go check out Ozzy. Go check out Kiss. You probably have <laughs> no idea who we're talking about. Right. So, please exactly. do. Just funny because I turned my son on it because you know my my big influence when I was younger that really kind of got me into more like the I guess it wasn't really punk then, but it was like new wave or because it was Oingo Boingo. Yeah. When they first came out, I think yeah. I was in like fifth or sixth grade, and I was just like, 
oh, I mean, it was new, it was fresh, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? And, yeah. I, and I loved it, but yeah, if I, if I could have had a chance to, to learn a, any instrument, I think it'd be the piano. Oh, you really? Know, just because just you see these guys and it's timeless, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You just get there and, I mean, we've had some great uh, piano players come through here and you're just like, you know, they just, they, they don't even know the song, they just go hum it and they start mm-hmm. just, they just do it, you mm-hmm. know? And it's, yeah. You know, it's kind of cool, but... Uh, and, and what's cool about piano too is, I mean, it's going to sound like a little on the nose, but everything's in black and white. It's right there. The whole language is there. Whereas like on a guitar, pff, I love guitar players, but Jesus Christ, you can play a G here, you can play a G here, you can play a G here, and it's the same G. On the piano, there's your G. You yeah. just got one. They got 88 versions of them because they're different octaves, but yeah. um, it's cool how that's the language. Yeah, yeah. No, but you know, you know what scares me, though, is, is a drum set. You know, I look at these guys, they got four names, or they're going here, going there, and it's like, that, that's, a, yeah, well, I can, let alone four, you know. <laughs> so, and, then, you know, some of the, we had some of the great drummers come there, too, and just my just jaw drops, just watching these guys, yeah. they're just phenomenal. And, you know, that that, that takes a whole nother, other wow. skill. You're on, you know, you're running two different beats, and two, two, just, but, yeah, it's awesome, man. And, uh, well, hey, look, you guys are getting ready to go on uh, here soon, and, uh, you know, thank you so much for coming yeah, down and playing absolutely. here. and. Uh, you know, what, what are the other upcoming shows you got? Because people are going to watch this, you know, at the end of the week. You know, so sure. what, do you, what do you got coming up that they could follow you guys when they watch it here? And they so well, we, we're playing um, in Ventura again in about 14, 15 days, something like that. Oh, shit, it's already March, isn't it? Yeah, so, so like 12 days. 12 days. March, March 14th at the sewer. I'm sorry, Sans Souci. Um, and, um, and then after that, we've got some Hollywood shows in May coming at Club Decades, which is one of our favorite places to play in Hollywood. Um, and we're trying to work on a couple other shows right now. We're still working out. And they, they yeah. can find those, those on your website, too, mm-hmm. as well? On the websites, on Bands in Town, on Instagram. Instagram. Yeah, there's just many places. Sweet, but, yeah. mm-hmm. sweet. At thebabygoesmusic.com. Yeah, at thebabygoesmusic.com. Yeah. No, <laughs> it's not. It's not it's, I'm sorry, at thebabygoesmusic, Instagram, there IG. You IG, there you Follow go. YouTube, too. We got videos up on YouTube. Make sure you check those out. Uh, we have it for our singles, and we have some live performances up there. They're really cool. And awesome. buy our fucking merchandise, because that's yes. how you support us. It's really true. You know, the thing is, is you know, we keep saying that we're a baby band, but it's the truth. We're a baby band. The only way we can grow is through you. And if you like the music, if you really do like the music, don't listen to me. Just go listen to it and tell me what you think. And then if you like it, support us. You know, buy our merch, come see our shows, and um, I think we'll give you a good time. Thank you guys so much yes, for coming out tonight. Looking forward to seeing stream. you. I'm well, yeah. looking forward to seeing you guys for the first time. You know, yes. instead of all the hearsay. So yeah. excited to watch you guys get down. I hope we don't uh, suck. <laughs> <laughs> we don't disappoint. Uh, hey guys, thanks for uh, tuning in. Thank uh, you, you very much, You guys, thank you so much. Have a killer show, man. All right, likewise. All right. Awesome. All right, dude.